don't know if we'll try it straight away, but we will we will try it. Uh, well, I guess next time we do the um, the grass, which will be in um, September. Oh, August. It'll be August. <clears throat> Oh, should auto drive generate a root network from the traffic and helper data on the map? No. Um, sure. I don't know if that does anything or not. I've never used auto drive before. We'll see, right? Uh, first things first. How is everything? Okay, there is a lot of digested. Making a lot of methane. That's fine. That's good. There's a lot of canola. Paper roll will need to be filled up. Clothes is looking really good. Fermenter power plants all looking great. And we still have 100,000 liters of grass and we have 497,000 liters of silage being fed into the into biogas, right? These guys can carry on. <clears throat> they can resume their, their duties. On the left and the right. We want uh, our man up here to resume his duties. He's already got a 61% load. Just so you know, and I will stand up and you will see me say it, that I'm 100% faithful. <laughs> what an episode, eh? Oh, man. What an episode. It is looking very much like a, uh, like a, uh, a foretold ending. But I can't believe Jazz is still in the final. I feel like, I feel like he's had info the whole game. And he could potentially blow it all up wide open. Oh man, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 100%. Yeah. I think, um... I think the only problem with Zach's theory is that there's not that many people, uh... There's not that many people left. So, he said four people, um knew that I had it, that that they had the shield and three people didn't. But I mean, if there's still two traders, that just doesn't hold up at all. It, 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 it wouldn't hold up at all, right? He had to consider that they, one of the traders could have had the shield and they made a play out of it, right? But he didn't. He just assumed that the four people who, who knew about the shield were faithful and therefore the two people that didn't know about it were traitors. Um, and Jasmine and Evie are not traitors. So, I mean, what can you do? I'm 75% faithful. <laughs> oh, man, what a show. It's the final tonight. It's the final tonight. Good news. I, I showed my, my wife was interested in watching the first episode of Clarkson's Farm, and she liked it. So I think we, I think we got another show to watch. Uh, there's quite a bit of it to get through. I'll re-watch season one with her, and then uh, we'll watch season two. She hasn't met Gerald yet. I'm looking forward to her witnessing the splendor that is Gerald, the head of security. Like these all-in-one logging machines? I do too, actually. I love uh, I love that I can just do this while uh, all of the other farm jobs are being done by uh, by Al. Really nice.
I might as well just collect up all this uh, this wood that I've already uh, felt and feed it into the um, into the thing, right? The the paper roll factory. I think uh, we s we're in the middle of selling furniture last night when I left, right? So we'll continue that. I think there's still a little bit left to sell. We'll probably pick up another Volvo and a uh, and, uh, four-in-one trailer to help with... Uh, now that we have auto drive as well, we, we should... I think it'll be a bit of, uh, of a faff to set it up. But once it's set up, we should be able to do exactly what I want it to do. And that is have one of the Volvos follow the uh, Forge Harvester around. And then uh, when it's done and going to uh, to drop off its uh, big green load, the other one can uh, take over. I've seen it done. I watched a video. I watched a video by a chap called the Farm Sim guy, I believe. He's an English guy. It seemed pretty straightforward, so hopefully I'll be able to do it. But yeah, he, he has some pretty pretty interesting videos. If you wanna, if you were not aware, I wanted to check out some actual good farming sim content instead of wasting your time here. He seems very knowledgeable. He uses a lot of terms that I feel like they use on Clarkson's farm and maybe real farmers use that I don't use. You know what I mean? Empty went over 80%. I think we want to go change that to 90, actually. Did I play BGs last night? I sure did. You know it, baby. I didn't get any um, first place uh, wins, but I did get a. Um... What is happening here? I did get a bunch of uh, second and third place wins, so I, my my mummers are going up. Is there anything on sale today? I haven't really checked actually. It's a medium tractor. There's a grass roller, the small one. I wonder if auto drive detects the ground textures. I don't. I think we, we can maybe even use auto drive for this job because um, leaving the AI to figure out a route is uh, is part of the issue, right? They just can't seem to really do it. And also, um, there's no way in course play to get them to leave off of here either. So you get like some weird queuing. Like now that he's done this, he's just gonna he'll just wait here. Um, to be summoned by one of the harvesters, right? So if we had another truck helping, the other truck would be stuck behind him until he gets summoned, which is not no good as well. See, like like now, we gotta move him. Well, now, now this guy needs to be unloaded, so we want to spring this guy back into action anyway. But maybe, it, maybe it's a good time to um, to take a look at auto drive. I don't even know how to open auto drive. There's, there must be a menu or something. Auto drive, vehicle overview, course play. I feel like there should be that little menu on the uh, right hand side of the screen, but I don't know. Oh, auto drive toggle HUD. Alt keypad zero. There it is. Auto drive. Move this thing around. Start, start course play at destination. Auto drive drive. Open the GUI. Enable disable. Change mode, continue, park a vehicle, increase loop counter, 
don't know what this is. Edit mode. I don't know what this one does. Corner speed, pipe offset, distance combine, unload fill level, field exit, restrict pathfinder to field, restrict unloader to field, avoid fruit, park in field, cycle pickup and deliver, four modes, no change of targets, only pick up targets, only deliver targets, pick up and deliver targets in the folder are cycled, not with default folder, automatic refueling, Automatic repairing. Drive to a workshop destination when wear level is too high. Park at job finished. Automatic tip side. Automatic trail covers. Trailer covers, sorry. Wait time unload. Unload position, unload off. This is user settings. Settings for auto drive. Non-functional settings for auto drive. Experimental features settings. I don't really know how you, um, maybe if I disable this. Change mode. What is this? Automatic pickup target. This is a deliver. Wheat, canola, canola, I can't really click on any of this stuff, maybe I need to like load some of the, something in, increase loop counter, don't know what this does, low, it looks like some sort of speed setting. You could do a, uh, a record. Record must be how you um, you record a loop, right? So like we could say, unload somebody specific and then drive back to this point and record a loop. And then maybe once this is recorded, we could um, Do you think it's recording this unload as well? Where did I start it? It's like in here somewhere, right? Delete waypoint, create and edit target. Oh. Okay, so it's got this course. I wonder. Load change mode. Unload combine. Oh, I can't, um, I can't get the uh, cursor up now. It's gone. Oh, that's annoying. I can't get the uh, course play uh, cursor thing to come up. It, it just does not work. Alt keypad zero. How do I get the uh, cursor back? 
where'd it go? I'm right clicking. Thanks for pointing out the most obvious thing that you could possibly think of. I, I, I was, I've been right clicking the, the whole time. No, I didn't turn it off on uh, this truck. It's only on the uh, on the tree um, the tree cutter. No driver with same target available. What does that mean? I, I didn't I don't know how to oh delete ah okay now I cannot get rid of the cursor ah oh, I got a, I got a middle mouse now but it doesn't open uh, course play I think there's maybe a conflict with the I feel like there's a way to set up a loop and have these guys park at the edge of a field and then uh, go in and unload. There is a there is an unload combine feature, but I feel like I need toggle automatic unload target. Create and edit its insert target name. Combine? Oh. I delete waypoint, edit selected target, open route manager. That's made two. Change destination filter. These are two separate mods, yeah. Record, open routes manager. I don't have any routes. Combine, change mode. Pick up and deliver. Pick up at the combine and deliver to folder name no how do I delete uh, these entries now there's got to be a way right delete and deliver deliver load unload combine combine um, create edit target I can't um can't delete this one. Okay, he's stopped. Edit selected, oh. Edit selected target. So, Create and edit a target. Insert target name. Combine. And then we want to delete this one.
How do I specify what's what, though? I mean, I can write these words, but I, I, it doesn't seem to, like, tag anything, you know? So that's the mode that we want, the combine mode. I can, I can record. Delete a waypoint. Edit the selected target. Delete combine. No harvester with same target found. But why can I just put a word here, but there's no like option to link it up or whatever. How do I know which, which one is which? Toggle HUD, toggle mouse. Open the GUI. Don't need to do that. Increase the loop counter. Don't need to do that. What does this one do? Record and record. Open routes. Add a target. Silo? No harvester with the same target found. So do I have to actually give... Oh, I see. Oh. So this is combine one. Oh. Okay, and then where is the actual... Um... Is it the root? Waiting for call. He's waiting for a call from Combine 1. The silo, I, I don't know how to give the silo a thing. Okay, I, I, I figured out how to at least tag stuff. So if I go to storage, production chains, no. But I could go to production chains, this, and visit. How do I assign a building as a, as a place? Or do I have to do like a route? Bring it into action. Oh, you gotta do the route and then tag a waypoint? Okay, let me let me do that. Catching up with combine. Planning path. It needed to think about it a minute. So the unload isn't actually a building, it's it's a, a route. Yeah, look, he's Combine 1 has a full grain tank. Oh, I can only see the route when I'm in this vehicle.
Is he trying to keep up with them or something? Combine one. This one can be combine two. Planning path, driving to combine pipe and unloading the combine. Okay. Okay, this is, this is, this is shaping up a bit. It'll take a little while, but. I feel like we could maybe, uh, we can, we can operate like this, right? Edit a target, edit the selected target. I don't know if you can add multiple targets. And I don't know how to give this root the name Silo, right? Or maybe it's his root, so he'll just go for it. 87. Waiting for room. Leave waypoint unloading combine. Unload combine. Driver can't calculate a path. Combine one and combine two. Insert target name, rename, reset, delete. So that's the target. But what, how do I, um, oh. What does that do? Oh, the editing's kind of nice too. I don't know how to do this. My targeting computer is offline, yeah. Continue. Maybe I got to do something with this one. I, I don't know how to um, select this and, and do something with it. I feel like once he's unloaded the combine, he needs to get onto this loop when he's got a, a certain percentage, over a certain percentage, and deliver it, right? But how do you do it? Create or edit a target? How do you get him to go back onto this route? Increase the loop counter? Record while not in vehicle. Enable routes manager on Deddy server. Detect swath. Color assignment. U-turn. Fold implements. Refuel only stations. Vehicle settings. User settings. Setting settings. Line height above the tractor would be helpful as well, right? 
show markers, switch to markers, a wide HUD. Lights, hazard lights, remaining dr uh, apply. Oh, where's the root now? Oh, it's gone. I think horseplay and auto drive can work together. I'm just trying to uh, to figure out how to do it. Um, can't reach the silo. Oh, I, I can't record on this now. Where did it go? Pick up and deliver. Deliver. Load. Unload combine. Oh, the triangle. There you go. What's happened here? What is... What's this line connecting this node here? So combine one is assigned to this, but that's not right, is it? So we could say we want to assign this to, to silo, right? This one? Edit target, silo. Aha! You're doing great, Dad. Three girls are walking with their mum. First girl asks why am I named Rose? Mum says a rose fell on your head when you were born. Second asks why am I named Lily? Mum says a lily fell on your head when you were born. Third asks Aunt Mum says, shh, brick. Hey, um, <laughs> hey, Link0170, thanks so much for 1337. Um, <laughs> thank you for the joke. <laughs> really good. I think it skipped a whole bunch of it. Three girls are walking with their mom. One girl asks, "What am I? Why am I named Rose?" Mom says, "A rose fell on your head when you were born." Second asks, "Why am I named Lily?" Mom says, "A lily fell on your head when you were born." Third asks, "Ah!" Mom says, "Shh, brick." <laughs> oh, a classic! Thank you so much. All right, back to trying to figure this out. Change mode, unload combine. Driver can't reach silo. It should be able to follow this path though, right? And then come back to here to wait? If I'm understanding right. Route one. Save. Back. I feel like I'm missing something, but 
I don't feel like I'm missing too much either, you know? Create and or edit the target. Silo. Oh? So his unload point is silo? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I had a fucking stroke. <laughs> Link 0170. Thanks again for the donation. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so we can edit these waypoints uh, like so. So when we come to here to unload, we really want it to be here, right? So we'd say, call this one silo and it's the the third one yeah and then hopefully he'll go back to combine one now that he's unloaded Is he following the route? Okay. Oh, this is great. Look at this. And he goes back to Combine 1. I think this will be way better than uh, course play for this bit, right? It'll be a lot faster. So I don't, I think we could have multiple trucks service one harvester, but we would need an additional truck and trailer to do the other ones, right? And so this guy will just wait here now to be called again. Waiting for room. Park the vehicle. Edit the selected target. Okay, yeah, so he is just waiting here now. So because it's this guy's job, we want to delete this waypoint, and then this one we will edit the target, edit the selected target, and this one will be Combine one. Silo. Uh, wait, that hasn't put it on here, though. Can't reach Combine one.
Oh, it's because it's put another combine one. So this is the second combine one. Combine one. Waiting for call. Okay, it's a little bit... It'll take some getting used to, but I think... Um, I think I think we're we're almost there with it. Okay. What I will do as well is buy another one of these. With one of these big trailers, the three in ones. Now that we have a lot of money. So we want to change this mode to... Unload combine, and we want to use second silo, same route. And then here we're going to do. Um, Combine two, right? And then uh, he's on his way. Wow, he's going right through the fruit as well. Crazy. I think he's going to the first one though. The the on the outside lane. Or well, maybe not. Actually, I don't know which one. This one's combine one. This is combine. Uh, it must be this one. It does seem to be heading towards this one, right? And he, he heads over in a good amount of time, too. Look at him go. Fuck no. It must be this one, right? So this one doesn't have anything assigned to it. No driver with same target available. This is combine two. Combine one. Okay, he's he's going. Where's he going? Combine one desperately needs to be unloaded. So they're waiting for him to be completely full before they unload, it looks like. This is combine one. Truck inbound. Wait, is he doing this guy? Who is assigned to Combine 1? Oh, he's assigned to Combine 1. Combine 2 needs to be unloaded as well. All right, the next thing we'll need to do is try to get these guys to, res to, uh, to call sooner, right? There must be a way to do this. Jesus. 
All oh, right, they don't just collide into each other like they do in course play either. Yeah, I thought I was about to witness a death as well, Dowie. That would have been crazy. So we're using course play to map out the course in the field for the harvesters to use. And then we're using auto drive to unload these things, but... I don't know if they're, if that guy up there is unloading. Maybe we just can't. Oh yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. Good. So, I think it would make sense for these guys to go back. Kind of like, um... Vehicle settings, cycle pickup and deliver, automatic refueling, repairing, park at job finished, automatic tip side, trailer covers, field exit, field exit strategy for unloader, unload fill levels at 85%, distance combine, pipe offset, corner speed, I think 85%. Let's go 70. So it's still at 59. And this guy's only at 29. So they're just going to wait here for these guys to fill them up even more. All right. Good if uh, the combine uh, called them a little bit earlier, but maybe um, there I, there might be an option for it to communicate with uh, course play. There is a course play button, so maybe that's a, is a thing as well. this into the uh, into the paper roll factory and then we can get back to the task the tasky wasky at hand Giga Canola. Giga Canola. I gotta carry on um, delivering all this furniture to you. Furniture, we were delivering it to Silver Run, were we not? Uh, 
Uh, furniture. No, to the farm shop. Okay. all the furniture. Yes. to join in on the on the little course should be able to park it there safely I just want to see if uh, if these guys can um I wonder if there's some like some other settings that for these guys. Okay, well he's catching up with the combine now, so he's been summoned. I don't know if he's if maybe there's like a special uh, like a threshold that they'll that they'll pass. Oh, you know what? Actually, there might just be settings for the combine. So this is combine one. So we want vehicle settings, field exit, park and field, cycle pickup and deliver. No, there doesn't seem to be unload fill level is 85%. After unloading combine, directly go to deliver at this fill level. So this is the vehicle settings for the unloader and not for the actual combine. This guy's doing combine two. This guy's racing to get to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You're driving, you're destroying all the crops. You're doing huge wipeouts in the field. Come on, man. Not like this. Now you're just in the damn way. Okay, almost in the way. These guys are doing rows now, so it's a bit trickier for the lead guy to get uh, unloaded, right? They'll have to unload them at the end. It's only once the, the rows are done that they'll they'll have the room. We might need to rethink that as well. Oh, I don't know if I can have one Lori do both combines. It doesn't seem like I can unless I set them both to the same target. Uh, maybe I could actually. I could set them both to the same target and then one could do both. It would make more sense, I suppose, right? So at 70%, this guy should go back and do the route, right? this to be 85 still and 85 for this guy as well it's only 29 right now I 
I think it's working. I believe it's working. You can't unload behind him like this. His pipe doesn't stretch there. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Look at this, he's getting sprayed. Oh, he's backed off. Oh, the other guy had to come in and rescue. Okay, so 85, he should go. Reversing from combine. Chasing combine. I think they don't like the fact that uh, the pipe is out on... Oh, God. Waiting for room. Waiting for call. He should have the call now. Okay, off he goes. Oh my lord. Good grief. Parked in field. No. Park in field. No. Okay, this guy should be heading back to unload now, right? What is this move that's happening? He cannot calculate the path. Back to silo? Is it because um, may, we might have to not do the uh, the row skip stuff, right? It could be screwing us up. I don't know why he can't find this uh, path now. Problem. Can't reach the silo. What? It was working before. What changed? The only thing that's changed is I um, removed park and field. Maybe this is why? Aha! Okay, so park and field needs to be on, it looks like. For this to work. Alright. You want to watch this guy follow this path and complete this task. We could probably um, smooth this out a bit more.
Got to tighten up the bolts a little, yeah. Okay, so now, yes, he follows his path back through here. This is much better than the AI trying to figure out the path, right? And then he'll get to combine one, which will then get him back in to unload when he's needed. So he's parked up here waiting. He's waiting for the call. And what's happening with our other guy here? 60%? So now I'm thinking if we got combine one and we set this guy to combine one as well, then the first guy will unload both of these guys. Should do, right? Which means that this guy doesn't have, okay, that's fine. So this guy no longer has a target. So we're going to need another one for uh, grass because there's going to be some overlap when we're doing corn and grass, right? And there's also multiple fields to consider as well. connect the two paths so that they won't overlap each other? Okay. How do you, um, how do you combine the two paths? If you just put them over top of each other, it doesn't combine them. Maybe it does. Is this the easiest way to delete nodes, or is there like a better way? I 
I think though I think that's connected now, is it not? It looks kind of connected. Maybe not. See, how's he gonna know uh, which way to go after this, though? I guess you, uh, I guess we'll specify like a, a unique uh, node name or whatever. Let's see if that works. Try that. They're not. Press one ball and then press second one and you see connection between two points. Oh. I just gotta check to see if my man is actually, uh, oh yeah, he's unloading. He should be unloading both, actually. They're both set to the same thing. He's reversing from this one now. Let's see if he can do both of them. Waiting for room. I don't know if this guy can unload both. He's searching for a clear area. Maybe we just gotta give him a minute. Oh, yeah, he's doing it. You'll have to move out of the way because this guy had to, okay. So we know for the next uh, harvest not to do like row skipping and stuff, I think. Keep it simple. All right, so this guy is gonna reverse very slowly for some reason. And then, um, this guy should be able to get back into this lane. Let's see if these guys can resume operations now. It takes so long. back on it and so is this guy and then this guy's gonna just wait until they're full up again and unload them okay sure all right back to this then we're trying to combine some nodes yeah this 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 is combined that's definitely combined now. But this one over here is not. Aha! Uh, wrong way. Aha!
Alright, so that's silo. Uh, that's not going to really work, though, is it? Because how are we going to get this guy back to... Oh, yeah, no, it can work. Because when this guy loops back around, we want him to go to what we will affectionately call Combine 3. Even though it's not Combine 3. Okay, I'll tell you what. This one here can be called... Um, canola, canola one, um, combine. Yes. So this guy is going to do canola one combine and then go to the silo, right? So this one will be canola one silo um, how does it know to uh, to dump here though when it's coming through here how will it know to dump here do I have to call it silo Instead, I don't even know what silo that is. I, I should try to organize these. No harvester with the same target found. Okay, there will be one soon, though. Once this is all done. We're getting there with it. Auto drive will automatically detect the silo and it should dump what's inside the trailer. Okay. Fine. Let's see if that if that does happen. Clean the yard so that trucks don't bump into crap. Okay. They shouldn't bump into crap anyway, but... I don't think they're driving over any crap. Look, I've got the... The route goes right through all the crap. No cleanup needed. This should be a little bit easier now to uh, unload these guys, right? I just wish they were a bit more proactive. I wish they wouldn't wait until it's completely full and the thing comes to a standstill, you know? It'd be nice if he kind of... At 85% on the harvester, he came in and then just started. Well, it looks like he's doing it now, actually. Weird. That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? I think you can set the percent that they come in. I couldn't find it. Uh, I mean, maybe. This is the vehicle settings, corner speed, unload fill level. So this is after unloading the combine, directly go to deliver at this fill level. So this seems to be for Unload position. Wait, time to unload? So this is the combine unload. Pre-call level is 60%. Call 2. Unloader when the current unloader reaches the pre-call fill level. You want to do a, a call 2? So it seems to be 60%. So this guy should come to this one in a sec as well, because he's at 60. He'll probably unload that guy first and then come and do this guy.
Jeez. He was really going for it there. It's got to be almost unloaded now. Oh, he's just actually following him for the whole stretch now. So the other guy should have called him, but he's just ignoring the call because he's fixated on this guy. But actually, once they break off, he'll go and unload the other guy. And then he'll probably return back to unload. Let's just make sure that that is the case. He's at 79%. So they should break off now because he's coming to the end of his line, right? So now this other guy should be calling him as well. Look how, di look how dirty this Volvo is already. Now he's locked into waiting for Combine's turn. So he might just resume with this one. Oh, maybe not actually. I think the other guy has called him. Oh, maybe not. He looks like he just wants to hang out with this guy. This guy is going to come to a full stop. And now this guy will have to go to the guy in front, right? To unload him a bit. <laughs> After he does his slow wiggly reverse move. the man do his signature wiggle now he's waiting for room maybe oh maybe the problem here is that we have two two combines but with the rows and stuff it's, it hasn't left a lot of room maybe we just needed more more trucks in here I guess he's just waiting for a full ass load. Okay, so he's full. This guy will carry on. This guy will carry on. This guy should now return, right? He's got to wait for some room first and then he, he'll go for it. Al? What?
why can't this work? So he's gone to silo, drive to unload point. But he's not following the route now. Oh, now he is. Why did I have to do a continue on that one? Uh, is it because I've... Um... Uh, maybe he's fine now, let's see. He's gone rogue, yeah. So as long as he drives over an unload point, he'll unload. He has not. What's the deal with that then? first point does nothing so how do I get him to to path here and unload because I thought I had see now he's catching up with the combine but he's full I don't think the silo is full This guy is driving through this field with a full trailer of canola. I think I need to get make some new waypoints, but where? So where do I put the waypoint then? I don't need to put one. Uh, like he'll just go back to the route and find the waypoint on that route, because that route is assigned to him, or what? Not calculate path. Where do I put the uh, where do I put the unload point? I think combining the waypoints didn't break it. No, it was broken before I combined the waypoints. Combine one, combine two. See if this actually works. It might do it now. He does seem to be approaching the silo with some intent.
All right, he's done it. All right, now he doesn't know how to get back to Combine 1. So, I think I need the, I I think I need uh, Combine 1 on here right so it's not it's it needs the waypoint it needs to know how to get to this waypoint called combine one and then we need to assign those combines to combine one as well right giga combines Okay, let's see. And then we get this guy to do this, right? Whoa! Who's this? <laughs> Mate, what are you doing? This is illegal. <laughs> this is not combine one. He has no harvester with same target found. But he's managed to latch on to one of them all the same. Well, this has been fun. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's... He can't calculate a path now. To Canola 1 Silo? Continue waiting for call. Okay, yeah, well, he, there's no... No call is coming, right? So, what's his fill level right now? 53%? It's gotta, it's gotta check its instructions, like, on some interval, I would've thought, right? It does not seem to be. Maybe if we continue? 53% he should be he should be going for, it, right? Combine 1. We can just assign this guy. He can't calculate a path now. the silo now. Maybe if we put him on here. He wants to go to the silo because he's at, he's on a 53 he's on 53 percent and I've said over 50 to unload. So maybe we could just get this guy onto this route as well. That guy is patiently waiting. Silo is now full, unfortunately. Okay, 
might need to expand the silo. still hasn't been called to unload. Oh my god, man. We have so much canola. I need like a backup. Wazoo. Yes. All right. He's off the course now. He's he's been summoned. I think they're done. I think they finished harvesting. Just two more to go. silo canola one combine i don't know if this will work now but let's see uh so field position good let's do uh some headlands we could do two so this is canola one combine Can't calculate a path. Waiting for call. Continue waiting for call. How do we um, say, okay, you're done now. Just, uh, just uh, go back and unload. Is there a button for that? destination assigned 
change mode. Oh, I guess you could just go... Deliver. He's planning his path now. Oh, okay, cool! Well, that's fine. You just change the job on the fly like that, and then you can set him to go off. So now he's going to head back to the silo. Great. And then this guy, we're going to say... We want you to do Canola 1 Combine, and we want you to do Canola 1 Silo. Just trying to find the route. This will be interesting. He's done it. Oh. You, you, like, you build like a network. This is kind of cool, actually. So this guy will wait here until this guy needs to be unloaded. And in the meantime, we can get this guy positioned over the other field. Driver has reached the silo. Oh, I love that there's a sound effect to say that he's done it as well. That's great. All right, so let's get this guy started on Canola 4. This guy can do three headlands. And uh, we'll want to create a new uh, unload route for this guy, too. Hey, look. Assist him. <laughs> So this guy will be on a different job now. We're going to record another route for this guy to get back here. So we'll start recording from about here. then he can join up onto which way does this guy go oh yeah he's going like here right we'll have to cross over here and then he can link up into here right Here we just want he can just park here. This one we will call um, 
canola four combine and then this one here we will call canola four silo And then we just need to change this harvester. Ah, he's uh, he's loaded them up already. Nice. So this is going to be canola for combine. He's following the route. Come on, baby. I believe in you. We just don't know if this unload is going to work yet. We might need to fart around with it a bit. Oh, it's so good that you can specify where they park and queue up and stuff. So for the, um, for the grass harvest, we should be able to get both of these trucks on the same uh, forge harvester, right? They should be able to do it, no problem. Uh, we don't need to do much field prep, if any, because um, we're not uh, we're not planting uh, canola again this year. We are going to be planting some corn because we want to forage harvest that next year. So we don't really have to worry about doing any prep until close to the time. But we could do some field uh, extensions and expansions. This is the last canola harvest. One of these can be um, repurposed to some sort of grain so that we can pick up some straw. We need to start collecting some straw. We can try to turn the straw into pellets. And then we're going to need um, somewhere that we can uh, harvest. Maybe we can turn this field here into uh, hay. And then expand the giga field and just uh, make it all corn. guy is so proactive oh I think I left Rose skipping in that's why the other guy can't just follow been pretty good for him to just follow and come back by the time he came back the uh, the guy would have been full up that's my bad quite satisfying isn't it to watch when it's all working this guy's 28 percent so hopefully uh, this guy's grain tank won't be too full after um, doing these skipped rows I, I think he should be okay oh yeah he'd be more than fine it's not a big field so I feel like um this small field could be uh, turned into grass and then we could start getting uh, some hay out of it and then just turn the hay into pellets and then the bigger field we can plant some grains and then start getting some straw out of it and turn them into pellets and then we'll have a collection of hay pellets and straw pellets ahead of getting some cows right 
I think it makes sense. We don't need to give them bedding because we're not... I don't think we're, we're interested in manure, right? We just want slurry from them. And then the slurry, we will just be... We can even use auto drive to actually um, plan a route and uh, have a system to probably automatically just deliver unload slurry from the uh, from the cow pens and then deliver it to um, biogas. And then all we got to do is uh, build more um, cogens. pipes and hoses adventure end um the pipes just kept dis uh, the hoses just kept uh, disconnecting unfortunately so we just uh kind of gave up on it but we could still get them ag and try them again but they just disconnected all the time plan for corn is to um, is to um, forage harvest it for uh, for chaff which will then uh, put into silos for um, silage which will feed into biogas and some of it will be used to uh, feed cows that's why we need straw and uh, hay as well. I actually don't know if straw and hay pellets can be um, used for that. We might not, we might need to leave it, um, we might need to just collect it with the, uh, with the pickup on the forage harvester and store it somewhere. So I don't know if the, if the, if the robo thing in the uh, cow pen will take pellets. to look into it. It would be silly if the robo cow shed doesn't take pellets but we can test it we can see I don't know if um... yeah I don't know actually we'll have to see this guy should come in and uh, unload this guy right to finish this job off Next to rock like Mick Foley. It's Nick Joby, kill him softly, play that shoot slowly. On the keys like Tony, throwing subs, they get toasted about my bread like a hoagie. This beat ice cold, look how I ride this. How are you doing? I feel like old tiny good anywhere you throw me. She eat a chobani, cause a body getting bony. Late night, heavy scrolling, vape light, heavy. I'll activate. We got our healthy habits. We've been already growing. It's like we're drowning. Hey, he did it on command. Did you see that? But it's not too late to change them And refrain from being slaves to the vices that encage them I'm writing on this page like I'm throwing hands to save them Alright, so now we go Deliver To Canola One Silo Will he do it? Or do we just go to silo? Yeah, I 
throw away and swallow my pride. All my life been like a permanent grind. I just deserve my shine. And you can't even tell until I push the curtains aside. If this just if this just works, then this is the delivery point on the network, right? As long as all the nodes are connected up. If he can find his way back to the path, then it should be okay. Yeah, I think he can find it. Uh, I guess we got to connect these up as well. But yeah, it looks like you can find it. Okay. We uh we need to move some of this into the other uh, silo, right? Because this one's too full. I guess I could have gotten a silo extension instead, right? Right, so this guy needs to have silo as his destination, right? Not uh, canola floor silo. So it's all on the same route, so it should be fine. Well, I'm not going to get the extension now. I bought the other silo. I'm going to be selling them soon anyway. Once we blast through this, um, the last of this canola, we'll shut down the production line, right? It's not, not worth the work. All right. Hopefully this works. I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Alf. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? Two seconds.
Whoa, baby. How's he doing? How's he doing? Is Al on a smoke break? I think he just waits. He's like a mantis, you know? He's just waiting. Al did it. Did he uh did he do a did he do an unload and come back? He must have had to unload by now. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. We'll see if he needs to. He should have to do at least wow. Wow, look at the texture of the cannoli. Fantastic. But he's only filled half? Okay. Make sure there's some room in there for him to do his do his thing. Oh, I'm really looking forward to doing uh, grass now. I feel like we've got a good handle on this mod. We can make it make it really work. Simplify things. to silo no we want him on canola four silo yo might as well help help your fellow owl an owl in need is an owl indeed it's not a very big field actually it won't take very long you might not even need the backup but let's send him in anyway I guess we can mulch up uh, this field since we're going to keep it, right? I think we're going to keep the small field and dedicate it to uh, some hay. So we'll mulch it. Mulch it and uh, we can start prepping it because the grass will start growing soon, right? we got to get this harvester out of the field. I can see my roots! Oh, that's fantastic. Um, let's do three headlands. Fine. Take this guy back to the yard. into the Bowser. I'm going to want to spread some lime on here. We should have a little bit left. There's a, um, there's a thing. There's a, um, cotton bale loader. One of the ones that we use. I think we bought ours full price. Um. Cedars? We could get this, uh, direct cedar. It's eight, it's eight meters. This one doesn't direct seed. Fifteen meters. Twelve meters. These ones direct seed. It's 12 meters as well. Does this need attachments of any description? No. Holds a lot of seed. We don't need it to fertilize. Six meters. Is 
is nine meters. So this one is, it's this one is still better, right? But the only the 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 drawback here is that we have to cultivate first. This is eight meters at 11 miles per hour. And this is a direct seeder as well. Oh man, the 15 meters is really nice, isn't it? But, 12 meters, wait, Six, 12 meters with the ability to seed directly without cultivating is pretty sweet too, right? Maybe we should grab one of these. We don't need to fill it with fertilizer. So it, this will be uh, used to plant uh, more grass if we need it and uh, other grain crops that we might need too. More like corny cobs. 195 grand. Jeez. Maybe we just keep what we've got for now. If you bought and use like three of these, they seem a better option for giga plantation than the two times seed and two times cultivator. Yeah, well, I think after corn, after we forge harvest corn, I don't know if we need to mulch and we've got a corn planter that can do uh, direct as well. So that's what's going into the giga field. Where's the other, oh, he's here. 75%, this guy's 32%. The 75% guy, we can just get him to unload now. That's fine. So we want this guy to unload at the silo. The other guy can finish uh, helping the harvester. Oh, he seems to be able to find his way back to the uh, to the root, no problem. So calendar wise, uh, if we want to plant some, I guess we'll plant some barley. It doesn't really matter if it's wheat or barley, right? Because we just want it for straw and then we can just sell, um, sell the grain when, uh, when it's ready to go. So we're planting in September on uh, canola four. So this is gonna be, these will be changed around a little bit now. So canola one is no longer called canola one. Canola one is now gonna be called, hey, <laughs> hey, uh, grass. And canola four is gonna be called barley. Grass, barley, hay, and giga canola is going to be called
Giga Cornholio. And then we got Cotton One. Corn, we're not going to be planting until April. So, we've got some time. Oh, I parked uh, a tractor right on the route. My bad. Nice of him to wait, though. That's good. Headlands looks good. Let's start on that. This guy's finished. this guy up in here his job is done he almost ran this guy almost ran out of fuel this guy is finished great get him deployed onto sweet field so we're gonna want, uh, sorry, barley, because we're gonna want to plant that in uh, September. Digested. There's so much of it. Uh, this guy, we want him to change his job to go to the silo. Perfect. So quick. God, auto drive is really great. Once you kind of get past the uh, the initial um, confusion, it's nice. I got auto drive on the mod hub. Yeah, Crelly sent me the um, link yesterday.
got to keep your tools clean. Very important. the ding dong that it, it makes. Ding dong. We gotta mow the grass uh, tomorrow, I think. Right? Yeah, tomorrow will be the the golden tinged growth uh, event that we're waiting for. for your next mowing lesson? What do you need to know now? I know all there is to know about the mowing game. Do, 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 do. I've done my share of the mowing game. Do, 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 do. So we're planting some grass here now. Because grass can be planted at any old time of year, right? But we have to um, we have to cultivate it first. Because I'm too lazy to get a uh, direct seeder. I can I can well afford it, but I just want to keep my options open for now, you know. Headlands. I do want two headlands. I do. Let's get this guy started. What strain of grass are we talking? We're talking um, whatever the most common farm grass you can think of is. I can't actually think at the moment what that is. 85%. All right. Did I buy this thing in the end? Because I don't think we need it. I'll keep it for now, but I don't think we need to use it. I think we I think we got this sorted out.
think we need to... Just get a nice little loop here. this one grass harvester and we'll call this one um, uh, grass silo I think this will work. We can test it out. So this guy is going to be load, unload combine. Grass harvester, grass silo. Same with this guy. Grass harvester, grass silo, and this guy is going to be called grass harvester, right? Once he's ready to go, and then we just got to mow <coughs> the lawn, which we're we're doing tomorrow, by the way. I'm just getting this set up in in advance. The Mulcher Man. It's Mr. Mulcher. Yeah, the auto driver still costs money. Yeah. Great. All right. So this guy, we want to copy this job, and we want to load it onto him as well, right? ahead of myself here. I'm just so excited for this to uh, work. We were we managed to get some practice in on the uh, canola fields. I don't think corn gives us faster cash that 
we we can't plant corn until March, and then harvest it in. Um, we'd ha be harvesting it in October, November. So we have over a year before corn is ready. So planting grass now makes more sense. We'll just get more. We could start. We could even do it like do one harvest of grass, put it in for silage, and then do another uh, harvest and turn it into hay. It's just to get a, a backlog of hay ahead of uh, cows coming in. Once this guy's done, uh, actually, we'll plant. Uh, we can seed it. Once we seed it, we'll fertilize it and roll it as well. So there's a lot to do on this field. That other field, um, we can just get it prepped, and then uh, we're planting barley in September, and then uh, we can make a start on outlining the expansion of the. Gig <laughs> we're gonna expand the giga field. Good night, Milsheen. Have a good weekend. I might be here on the weekend, I'm not sure. But if not, I'll see you on Monday. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh yes! A, a real big field! A really big field! Yes, the giggle field, where all of the giggling happens. This is where people go to have a, a right old giggle. I could cut a couple of trees while I wait for these uh, for these guys to finish up some of their gerbs. What did you guys think of um, the traders last night? Pretty much as expected, I, I guess. The only uh, the only thing that was a little bit of a surprise was uh, there was no murder, and I think uh, they were banking on there being one. So there was no murder last night, so the people who were left are the are in the final. 
I think Jazz is going to have to put in an almighty shift tomorrow if he wants to if he wants to win that money. I think he I think he's close. I think he I think he knows. But he just has to convince well, he's got to convince the unconvincible basically. Harry has kept two women in who are basically in love with him. You know? sure that um, sowing seizes fertilizer is deactivated it is like this. <laughs> They're mating. I feel like they are, yeah. Yeah, they're almost done. That's good. Any more small trees? There's a couple big ones here. Chop them down. don't have the patience to work with Al. He has a very specific skill set. has a very specific set of skills. 
he he really excels when you just leave him to drive up and down a field without any complications no alarms and no surprises <laughs> Skills that make him a nightmare for people like me? Absolutely. That's the one. Oh, fuck these fucking dumb tree. Fuck off. Great, great. There's uh, there's all this over here that can be chopped down too. It's on our land. Um, this isn't so bad. We could think about maybe um, flattening this. It's not a huge. It's more of a, a like a mound than a mountain, I would say, right? gonna need a lot of tents to flatten this you, you might be right you might you might actually be right about that to mulch the, uh, the the giga field but I think we'll do it when it's all uh, extended and combined and stuff right do it all in one before we plant corn
Great. All right, so that's planted with grass. too, right? Whoops. All right. Almost done. Let's get this thing fertilized. like two passes it's good Try to put all this stuff together so that we can just pick it all up at once. Here, get all these small trees out of the way so that we can cut down the big ones easier. We can fit right in there. not need to be planted until September so we can uh, hold fire on it. This is good for now. You liked it when I played the zoo game? Yeah, it was fun. I liked playing the zoo game as well. I will probably play the zoo game again. At some point. I don't know when. done oh my god he is incredible all right let's get this bad boy rolled then
Any Jeeps on the farm? No. Um, we do have a, um, a really cool pickup truck, though. We want this subsoiler. We haven't tried uh, grass harvest with minimal interference yet. I, we think that it, this might work. Well, I think that this might work. What we've got set up. We're gonna. We're doing it uh, tomorrow. to um, allow create fields. Let's unfold. Line it up with the side here a bit better, whoops. really hard to um, line this up. There we go. The subsoiler is making it so this is considered plowed, right? It acts as a plow. We don't want to go too close to the edge of the map. Should be fine. I think there's a, enough space. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll level all the. Uh it's it's ma it's mainly the stuff in the middle that needs to be leveled. This is all kind of gently sloping here, so I think it's okay. Oh baby. We want to square it off here, connect up down. I even think that this uh, previously wooded area is probably gently sloped too. I think we'll get it close enough and then work our way up from the other. Remember when that field was just one small field? Now it's part of uh, now it's part of the big one.
all the fields blend together in a blur? Yes. Try it. I'll try my best to line it up. Maybe around here. And then we'll work our way up from this one. No, this isn't for grass. This is all going to be corn. Sounds like that song, you know that one? Bad, bad Leroy Brown, baddest man in the whole damn town. Do do Leroy Brown. You know that one? I was gonna say what did you think I was gonna say bearing in mind that my uh, my musical knowledge is kind of locked in the 90s yeah if it ain't schlager it ain't worth my time I wasn't, uh, I wasn't exact, unfortunately. A little bit off, but that's okay. All right, if we look on the map. Oh, <laughs> Giga Cornholio. Look at that, what a, it's a, it's like a work of art. It is like a work of art. Uh, we're gonna have to smooth out a little bit here, I think. Sculpting. Soften. Might be just a bit too lumpy. I think it seems to get quite lumpy here, doesn't it? Yeah, that's looking all right, actually.
Where else does it look a little bit... Oh, I guess up here is quite lumpy too, isn't it? We might need the tent. I don't think we'll ever get it like perfectly smooth, but we can try to get close to achieve maximum smoothness. I think that looks pretty good. Do it smoothing out some of this too, right? Where they these this is where the uh, harvesters stop, but there's a couple of there's a couple of edges that are a little bit jagged in here, isn't there? I think. Nice. Okay, rolling is done. I think we're good to um we got time to work on this field we don't have to do it all in one uh one month so let's forward time so that we can do a grass uh, cut and see if we can get some of this um automation stuff working i think that's all we got to do today and then we'll seed um the barley field in september can i order a cannolis and a small raspberry slurry Please, of course you can, Boba. Of course, you're at the, you you're in the right place. We got cannolis, we got slurries, we got everything here. Cultivated, plowed. What does stubble tillage mean? Stubble tillage. It's full of stones. the heck is that? Uh, furniture we sold? Oh my god, digest it. We got 1.3 million liters of this, of this stuff. Oh my lord. Okay. Ready? Stubble tillage is needs mulching? All oh, right. You don't have to mulch though, right? 
We made uh, 5.6K from the turbine, which is now spinning like crazy. But the real hero here is bio the uh, biogas plant income, which was 89K. <laughs> oh my God. It is August. Looks good to me. Right. Let's get this guy started. Nice. Let's get this guy started. The grass harvester. <laughs> He's coming. Don't you do it. Don't get stuck. He's stopped. He's stopped because he's waiting for a truck to, to get into range here, right? Which I think the truck is entering range. Oh my. <laughs> well, it's working. It's working. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to get along the side of him. That's even better actually. Look at that. Now he can really open up his gills. All right, we'll see if uh, if these guys are able to get back to the silo and then make it back for some more party time. This is this is working fine though. Look at this. Pretty uninterrupted. Hey, the range is incredible. They I mean they're like that in real life too. You should watch some videos of one of these things uh, in real life. It, they're insane. It would rip your head off. You ate two boxes of Ferrero Rocher while you were playing Hearthstone last night? I, I played a couple of games last night, Jim, and um, my new my new tactic is just to stall the uh, just to stall the mid game and then finish top four. And it's and it works. Just have a strong start and then uh, and then you know you dip out when you're in like third place or whatever on average. My MMR now is like it's all. I think I'm. I think I'm almost uh, back up to 6,500, which I was at and last week. Then I dropped back down to 6K, but I've slowly climbed back up. Played a guy who stayed on level three the entire game with multiple mid triple tier dragons, and he blasted everyone. Yeah. Okay. This guy is full up, so his friend should be coming out here to assist. It's a big field, so he's got quite a way to travel, but luckily these Volvos are quite fast. So the other guy should be on his way. 
<laughs> we need you. <laughs> we need you. It's waiting for a call. I feel like the grass harvester should have called him by now. Oh, he's planning his path. He's planning his path, and he's going to catch up with the combine. Look, he's done it. He's been activated. We don't mind if he drives on the grass. It's just grass. It's just grass that needs a cut. This guy's trying to figure out how he can get back to the silo now. He's having a little bit of trouble. To be fair, there are a few obstacles outside the field here. Al, I'm believing in you. Oh. Yes, Al. Don't worry about trespassing. Go through the woods. Why the heck not? Oh my god. No intervention from me whatsoever, by the way. They've, they've just figured it out. Alright, now I want you to feast your eyes on this big maneuver that's taking place. All right. Fine. He's going to follow the follow the row. That's fine. The other guys are making their way around. No problem. The mower can just crack on. He seems to have mapped out the field at least. He should be able to get back to his yeah, his route, no problem. He's figured it out. Come on, Al, I believe. Get on the route. Now we gotta see if oh. Now we gotta see if he can actually tip. He might not be able to tip. He's also taken quite a clumsy way round to the to the route but he's back on the route at least okay we might need to just tighten the bolts a little bit for this part here we'll see can he tip come on al put the pedal to the metal baby he's 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 identified the unload point and he's driving to it right now No out. Okay, Al, let's try this again. Okay, let's get him back on this path. <laughs> Get him back on this path. He's driving to the unload point once again. He should be able to unload here, no problem. He's doing it. Oh, wait. Look, the other guy is coming in for his big unload too. Okay, Al. Back out you go. He's a very cautious driver, yeah. He takes his driving very seriously. All right. He's back on it. He's had to slow down a little bit. I left some wagons and stuff in the way. Back to the grass harvester queue point where he's now planning his path to catch up with the combine he's catching up with the combine 
Fucking hell, guys. You can yeehaw whenever you like. This is definitely... We are we are firmly in yeehaw territory right now. I don't know why this guy is lasering him from so far away, but... He's only gone and done it, yeah. Look at this. This is beautiful. The other guy just unloaded too. I haven't had to intervene once. We could get even more trucks on this if we wanted to. Look at that, he's just queuing up. He's waiting for his turn. He's waiting for his big moment to come out and help the team. Going into the second headland. Meanwhile, the mower are just cracking on. Look at this. Come on, man. That's beautiful. All of this with 1.185 million big cold ones in the. I know. God, they are on ice in there, too. We got them in the freezer. This is just a grass harvest. It's grass, grass that's getting turned into silage. We'll hopefully uh, do some fun hay stuff eventually too, which is currently growing. Oh, look at this. That is beautiful. What a sight to behold, eh? I believe in you, Al. You take that corner. You earn your driving license. He's doing his like uh, his like mating ritual here. His his reversing wiggle move. He can't quite figure out how to get alongside the truck. Oh, he's figured it out. There we go. It's gonna give him a little push. It's part of the mating ritual. Oh man, how good is this, eh? This is great. Here comes the mower. I don't think I've got uh, the mower row skipping this time. I, I do think he might be... I think he's only doing two headlands. He might do a third. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the job entailed, but... I don't think these guys are too in his way. <laughs> I love that I don't have to do any of this. Don't be so scared, Al. Come on problem he's backing off he's scared oh the mower has deployed yeah it looks like he's doing another headland uh, we don't mind headland so much actually it's save on some of the turning in the field right Harvester does have a strong stream, much stronger than uh, than mine. I'm very envious. Oh, I think actually he might have started doing rows. He's doing them on a bit of a diagonal, isn't he? Yep, 
Yeah, we can go do our own thing while these guys take care of this. You guys can watch this for a bit, actually, because I've got to um, go and have uh, some lunch and uh, wind the baby for a minute for the uh, for the school run. I'll go do that, and uh, hopefully when I get back, this will still be running. Hey Crelly, yeah, I got I I got auto drive and I got it working. It took a lot of messing around, but we finally got there with it. Actually, I don't think it was too ragey either. Usually we'd be I'd be raging out hard, but kind of just kept fiddling around with it and got it. Yeah, it was the GitHub one that you sent. All right, this guy is heading back which means that yes there he is the other one has deployed oh that's great isn't it all right I'll leave you guys with a view of the uh, harvester because the uh, the owl trucks will come and go this guy will we might need some fine-tuning to, to sort of get these guys to deploy sooner if possible we'll see We'll take a look when I get back. All right, I won't be long, chat. I'll be. I'll see you in a sec.
I see movement. Wowzers. They're still doing it. Oh my god, man. How many loads? They got stuck. Where did they get stuck? I wasn't here to monitor. We had some trouble. Well, it seemed to have corrected it anyway. Oh, look at this. Look at what a what a great mole. All right, perfect. They seem to have recovered from whatever crash that they had. Right, we need to make sure that we have capacity in here. We got a bit of capacity. We might be over. Um, we can upgrade this silo to level two for 110,000 pounds, but there's uh, other options are, fuck me, this is beautiful, eh? Look at this. Oh, oh he's doing this row. No, he's not. I don't even know what he's doing. I don't even know if he knows what he's doing. They're still going. Oh yeah, I got tea, Dowie. I did. Yeah, I brought. I sorry, chat. I did. I got some tea. I. It is a tea day. Starting the rows. Okay. We'll see how they handle the turning on this. Actually. Not so bad. I guess it's a little, probably a little bit better now that this guy doesn't, the uh, harvester doesn't have a trailer. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Good. We can leave these guys. This is great. All right. Let's take a look at some of these other silos. So there's this one. This is the steel silo two. This is the steel silo one. Steel silo two has a bigger capacity. I'm sure of it. And uh, it, although it doesn't say here, it has possibly the biggest capacity. I mean, we could just upgrade. I wonder what happens when we upgrade it. Let's see. So it's currently running at 240,000 cycles at level two, and the capacity is 565,000. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh my God, it's gonna make so much silage. All right, fine, we've upgraded it. This guy is waiting for his man. Holy shit, here he comes. That's great. Oh, does this... I don't know if this needs to be weeded. Does it? No, it does not. It's the grass. The grass is growing. I think the cedar might have missed a couple of spots. <laughs> Looks like the cedar missed <laughs> a great a great number of spots. I'll have to go and sort that out after the we we can harvest a little bit of it. up some logs. There's one right here. And here.
There's a couple of stray ones up here too, if you remember. pick up all this stuff and take it back to fill up the paper mill so that we're not um, just dumping this in storage. Might as well use all the little twigs and bits and pieces. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever be able to get Al to do anything like this, but with auto drive, we might be able to set a nice truck route up that goes back to the mill. <laughs> you know, and then we could even deliver it. I don't know if it'll ever be able to uh, to deliver, though, because um, it, it's like a trigger point, right? Uh, there's something about trigger points. Maybe you can. That's all the wood picked up. I think this will get stuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's stuck again. But wait. Oh, baby. <laughs> I feel like we're really farming now, you know? Like, I know we have been all this time anyway, but now it really feels like farming. We've got systems. Make sure that this guy has 
fields fields on. Um, we could probably get Al to do this now, right? So Giga Cornholio. Let's uh, delete this field. And then let's draw a custom field. We could just square it off like this. It'll mean that we'll we'll be redoing some of it, but that's okay, right? Okay, and then we can say create a job, field position. Uh, let's do a headland, smooth. We'll do sharp. We could do circle bypass. Oh, actually, no, we want no bypass, right? Because we're going to just cut down all the trees in here. The game's crashing. That's fine, right? So that headland. Once, he's, once the headland is done, we basically just want to... Actually, where is this happening? Oh, is it doing row skipping? Oh, maybe we don't want it to do row skipping either, right? God, I, th I think course play is gonna break every time we try to do anything with this field. Okay, that's better. All right, so after the headland is done, it starts and stops here. Okay. All right. So I think when he finishes the headland, he he seems to link up down here. Yeah, I'm going to skip the uh, headland, yeah. That's the plan. And then just do the um, the rows in, in, inside. Yeah, this is this is the the spot. Perfect. Perfect. He's going to need some fuel, but I can bring some out with the uh, the Bowser, right? Just make sure that he can do this. Looking good. chuck these out of here for now. I'll come and pick them up after. Uh, we're not in a rush. It's good that this is underway, but we're not in a rush to get it done. Like, we don't have to get it done until after winter, so we can still fast forward time and a lot of this will get done. It's just in March we're going to want to prep this field to plant it in uh, April. But there's there's a bunch of shit that needs to happen to it for us. It's, it's going to take him forever to do all this. Okay, I think that's the mower done.
Is there any more trees? These trees will never be moved. No, I, there's a good chance that they'll never be moved, but... I like to at least pretend like I will one day move them. Who knows? Maybe I'll come out here and move them one day. Uh, let me just have a quick scan to see if there's any more trees in this field. I don't think there is. No, it looks clear. That's going to be huge. Holy crap. Alright, perfect. This guy is done mowing. These guys are still working. is going to be needed uh, down here next for this hay field. We're going to need a tether and a windrower for this stuff. Oh, and this can uh, be sold now. We don't need this right now. 92 grand. get a hay drawing lock mod to save tedding uh i think for the size of the field tedding's not the end of the world it'll only take two seconds i don't think we have anything left to sell now until uh, december right to be um, oil. I'll get some stones. Hey look, these trees are getting big. Yeah, we uh, hay for cows. Yeah, we we need uh, we could probably buy a cow barn now. Uh, there's not no there's no other equipment that I desperately need right now, unless we want to get some cotton harvesters. But I'm fine just renting them, honestly. Like. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just use the the saw for stumping. I mean, we could we could start using a mulcher, but I don't know. Fuck it, it's so annoying, isn't it? Stump uh, removing stumps. all small trees down here now. Do, 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 do. I love that these guys can just empty that grass field without me having to get involved. That's uh, so great. It's, it's it's easy to, to get them to finish up the job too, right? And redeploy them to the job. So the route's always there. The waypoints are always there. So we can just uh, we can easily redeploy them after they've done the uh, the hay. If we even get them to do the hay. Um, oh yeah, we probably will, right? We'll probably get them to uh, collect it in the uh, in the wagon. And then we can deliver it to. Uh, the pellet factory? Could, we could always make pellets. I'm sure we'd be able to feed cows hay pellets, right? But it's just a bit easier to store them, I think. How do I take my tea? Um, I just with a dash of milk. That's it. I just have a, a a dash of milk in there, which I add after I've removed the tea bag from the tea. Very important step. these little ones too. There's a whole family of deer in here crying. Because I've destroyed their home.
Lift. <laughs> oh, it's pushed it the whole way. God. I think we can probably flatten this out too if we wanted to move some uh, more of the grass field back here. I think we have enough grass for now though. Oh my god. Look at how big the <laughs> look at how big these fields are. Nothing compares to the uh to Giga Cornholio though. That's a really big one. very hard to find a place that knows how to make a tea um, what in wait is it hard for me to find a place that makes tea I, I could I could step out my front door and uh, and throw a tennis ball and it would surely hit somewhere that can make a, a tea it's not hard to find somebody that can make tea here <laughs> My wife. <laughs> Ow! Stop throwing tennis balls at me. Other way around. Oh, wait, you mean if I'm in Canada, can I find somewhere that can make tea? I cannot read. question it was a statement oh I thought wait what I'm trying to farm here it's not a it's not, it's not a Q&A I'm busy drink tea or chocolate milk for the rest of my life I honestly probably tea As I love chocolate milk don't get me wrong but I do love tea as well uh, it, it just uh, warm and comforting you know I'd have to, to say tea Being a Brit in Canada, is it difficult to find a good cup of warm cola? <laughs> what? I could open my door, throw a tennis ball, and I would surely hit somebody in the process of drinking a warm cola.
as a Brit in Canada, is it hard to not get hit by a tennis ball when you walk outside? It depends on which neighborhood you're in. I don't think we can flatten this. I don't think it can happen. It is, it is too big. It's too big. to see how this guy is doing. He's doing well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is going to be the biggest. He's doing so well. He's making great time. I know. He's... He'll get a whole load of it done. Easy. Who's blocked? Oh, we don't know. They were only blocked for a second. expand biogas again before getting cows since we have a lot of silage that we can work through right we have quite a bit of money I don't know if this is mine. You know what? This is mine. It's like right on the border. Our neighbor's never gonna notice. We don't need to worry about a lawsuit. I'm fairly certain.
quite a few little trees out here that we could do with chopping down, I guess. We need to check to see if there's a setting where um, we can get the uh, the other truck deployed quicker, right? Because on a forge harvester, there's no capacity, so there, you can't really do it per, uh, based on a percent. But I wonder if um, there's some like trigger of the other um, the other truck leaving can activate them sooner or something. I don't know. Or maybe that is already happening. Because there's definitely um, some time to be saved in between, right? If the other guy turned up and was ready to unload just as the other guy is leaving, it would go faster. I Maybe mean, there's like an offset or something that we can fiddle around with. I guess me. I guess we could um, set their weight point somewhere more in the middle would help too, right? We could change the route. government forced me to play a sport which would it be uh probably like crazy frisbee something like that you track the field percentage of a toad auger no i don't think you can actually um, I'm, I'm just, I'm crunching the numbers right now and trying to see if that's, no, I don't think you can do it. I think it has to be a drivable vehicle, Teagles. I don't know if you can actually read that, that info, you know? to worry about me because I am so fresh and so fresh and so clean. Who is blocked? Oh, we'll never know. It isn't this guy. Oh, shit. Look what's happened here. I think, it was, it, I think it's a case of lower your tools early, raise your tools 
late. But he's not. Oh, you know what? It's probably just outside of the bounds. I think the headland would have gotten this, actually. That's okay. I can just come back and do the one line, right? Oh my god, there used to be so many trees there. There used to be a lot of trees here too, actually. Oh shit, I left a couple behind. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. so much uh, digested not um, power plant cotton we're out of cotton but we still have loads of fabric left over oh my god look at all the grass we have digest it methane production it's doing 288 cycles per month level 2 for 22 grand Yeah. 950. It still only uses a, a thousand to make uh, 604, but it uses a thousand every cycle, and now we're running way more cycles. So we should be able to eat a bunch of the uh, digested, right? Faster, because it is really pooling up. Um, I think it will pull up here first and then probably spill over into here and then this will pull from it. I feel like that's probably the case. Production. 665, 1001, 1604. This thing only does 1089. So this is 1089, but it can go up to 1604 depending on the recipe. Much like this one can go up to 665, but we're only doing 425 at the moment. So this is 646, and this one can eat 646. You want to um, you want to get a big one, a bigger one? A medium-sized one? No, the windmill is not paid for itself yet. Some landscaping needs to occur here as well. these ones, right? 646. Alright, good. Well, this should give us um, a bunch of extra money. Per month. We have more than enough silage to feed into it as well.
Oh yeah. Concrete. I'm paving uh, paradise. Right, so in the fermenter, there should be way more capacity because it's all connected, but maybe uh, it can't um, auto send it uh, that far. Or maybe it can, I don't know. Is the grass bugged? What do you mean? Like, by the FBI? I hope not. They don't want them to hear all my big plans. Yeah, look at this field. That's a whopper. That's an absolute whopper. Oh! There is... A tether on sale. We could pick this up. This is the uh, this is a big square baler from the straw harvest pack. It's on uh, it's on sale for half price, 140 grand. I think this tether is 8.7 meters. I think there's bigger tethers. Yeah, this one's 17 meters. Flip. That's a flipping huge tether. And then wind rowers are some pretty big ones too. 14 meters. This one's only 9 meters, but it looks awesome. This one's 12 meters, also looks quite awesome. Um, we're going to need them. Unless we want to... Um, well, unless, either way, we're going to need them, right? We could forage wagon up the uh, the hay, I suppose. But it might be nice to do some, uh, some, some pellet stuff. There is the... This is the pellet hull palletizer. So this thing has some machinery in it that uh, will create pellet pallets, I think. Pellet hull, pellet hull pellet palletizer. You've also got just the pellet hull, the pellet hull with crane. And then you've also got a bale and pallet storage. So this is where we could store bales and pallets if we want. It holds a thousand pieces. You need the pellet baler to go with the with the hull? This one you mean? Or does it have to go it goes with the uh, the one that puts the the pellets into the 
Do we just need the... We don't need the, uh, the hull, then. Do we just actually need the uh, machine? If we want to make pellets? This thing? It's 320 grand. So you basically go through, pick up the hay, and then turn it into pellets. Can I um can I feed the these um pellets to cows, or do I am I better off just uh, forage harvesting up the uh, the hay and then dumping it into the um, cow barn? Cows. Oh. We need some straw too. Uh, I guess we're planting uh, barley tomorrow, so. Oh, I see. These guys are, are getting blocked. This guy, this guy is blocking. Uh, oh. He's doing the round. Off he goes. He missed a little bit. I don't know what happened there. Or is that not... That is grass. How the hell did they miss that? Oh, weird. It's from last year. Oh, it was like in between. <laughs> it's just there. Last year's grass, old grass. just plant on this directly now that it's been subsoiled I guess we got to start picking rocks off of this right Thanks for the spreadsheet. I'll, I'll, I'll check my net worth. I, I completely forgot actually about the spreadsheet. Thank you so much for doing it. I was getting stoned. Okay, hang on. I need to copy this job so that I can pick, pick the rocks.
Whoa. -oh. He was stuck. Waiting for call. Call. Oh. Just switch these guys up, that's fine. The other one was stuck. Alright, perfect. Let's copy this job. Uh, let's paste this job. Do nearest waypoint. And um, we'll get him started. Uh, I don't know if he goes fast. He might catch up to him. We'll see. I could just do the headland after. Let's do this first, and then I'll I'll get him to uh, restart and do the headland at the end. So this um this this is cultivating it and uh, taking the stones out too, which I guess uh, it kind of needs to be done. I don't know if the rock in the middle of this field can be uh, can be drilled. I don't think it's that kind of rock. It's like a scenery rock, not a... I don't know if we can interact with it. I'd estimate the Sips is... is the, the farm is worth over 30 million today. Oh, my God. Pending intense calculations. It's worth over 30 million now. Oh my lord. We've actually made a farm worth more than. It's worth more than $5. That's encouraging. Yeah, the rocks can be removed. There's um, some signs over here that you can chop down to remove. It, it'll remove all the rocks, though. That's why we haven't done it. You can also uh, chop one down. See? Cutting this signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all rocks from the map. Cutting this signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all trees from the map, which would be a disaster. Yeah, the whole tree economy would be in such peril. Oh, shit. This guy needs his own uh, job, unfortunately. Because the, uh, the width of these tools is not the same. Shit. I'll have to come back when this guy's done, I think. I 
think this guy is going to do a crazy turn move that's going to uh, make a mess of the field, but I can always just paint over it after. Well, this guy's going to run out of fuel soon, I think. Oh my god, they're almost done. It's only taken, uh, like, three hours, but... At least I haven't had to interfere. It is pretty big grass field, isn't it? It is still faster than bailing. God, yeah. Fucking hell, bailing is... Such a ball ache. One of the... Jesus Christ, man. This guy's almost done. Well, I say that. He still has an hour to go, apparently. But he's made such great progress, holy shit. So, that'll be corn. <laughs> that'll be corn. Oh my lord. Cotton. Barley, which... filled with weeds right now, but that's okay because we're going to be planting tomorrow. I still have a lot of plots of land I could buy. Oh, part of me. Unfortunately, there's like some stones and crap here that we can't do anything about, but 37, 38, 39, and... Maybe 40 could be a pretty big one, too. We need to start finding some spots for um, cow sheds, too. We said we might build some over here. Or maybe on the other side of this hill. There's space in here, but it's all sloped. There's some space here. There's a bunch of space along here, too. Tons of space along here, actually. And it's never really... Th these, this space isn't really used for much because we, we normally get a, a fairly big headland on this. the bullet and remove the rocks that's fine I think I think it'll be okay animals cows oh god these this building is humongous actually it's not just the building it's got like the uh, it's got the, the pasture the back 
Do you think cows care about a big rock being in their pasture? Do you think that they would lay down and bask on it? I wonder how much slurry we'll get from 80 cows. Probably a decent amount, right? But we'll wanna we'll wanna up our uh, up our cows. Improve our cowman uh, cow cowmanship. What happens if you build? <laughs> You think it matters that there's a big rock right in the center of this building? I think I need to buy more land. For cows, and probably clear a bunch of it out too. If we're gonna get a couple of barns, which we probably need a couple, on realistically. We need some space. Why cows? Because, um... We'll make more from biogas with their um, slurry. And possibly manure if we if we want to. I think if we give them bedding, they'll produce manure. We can put that into the um, biogas plant as well. But uh, slurry will uh, make the recipe for biogas a bit better. And we'll be able to make more energy. And we can feed them uh, silage from the corn harvest, along with uh, hay and straw in a mix. Pew, pew, pew. This green laser is uh, just a concentrated beam of cut grass. Yeah, we're fermenting the corn silage, but, but some of it, uh, well, the the um, the chaff will will get all fermented into silage, yeah. And then some of it will go into um, biogas, and then some of it will be fed to the cows. I mean, we're going to have so much of it, we would be able to feed the cows for like 10 lifetimes. So we'll, we'll just um, put, the, uh, put the excess into, the, into biogas. Where is it? Why is it shooting that way? There's nothing over there. Hey, see you later, beard daddy. Good luck. Oh, see? So, it looks like it's triggered by this guy finally leaving, but it just takes them so long to leave. I think that's why this this job has just taken so long. There's got to be some something we can do to improve the turnaround, right? Some fine tuning. Peeking in from YouTube, where we just got the huge cotton field. Oh my God, man! Look what we're, <laughs> look what we're doing now. <laughs> look at this. This guy's been this guy's been working on this for like two hours. It's corn. I 
I don't know if I add the wagon if they'll be able to unload from it though. Teagles. I think um I think it they would use it as a as a buffer, but I'd have to manually unload the, the buffer probably. I don't think you can set these guys to uh, unload from it. Forge harvesters generally don't have an internal tank, so I don't think any of them have one. Yeah, we got it working, but like I said, some fine tuning would be good. Yeah, I know. I'm happy with it, Teagle. So just like, just the uh, the turnaround in between. If we can, if we can minimize like the time that the harvesters just sat there waiting for these two to figure it out. the reversing um, I think for the vehicles automatic unload position refueling cycle pickup park and field restrict unloader to field pathfinder to field it doesn't seem to be there's user settings but I don't think that would affect the reverse speed I don't know why they do this slow ass reversing actually. Turning automatic. Yeah, I don't know. Corner speed, pipe offset, distance combine, unload fill level, field exit. Field exit strategy for unloader. I don't know. Yeah, the speed stuff, I think you're right, is for course play. But they, they're even in course play, they slow, they slow to a crawl in certain situations, right? Like when they're trying to get to specific spots or whatever, they, they, they slow right down. See, when he does this reverse, so he's 93%, so he's he's going to go back. But now, see, he's doing this slow reverse before he heads back. I wonder if it coincides with the row changing. Reversing from combine, chasing combine, the combine waiting for room. So he's waiting for the combine to, like, stop it. And then he starts planning, and then he exits the field. It must just be like a sequencing thing.
I don't know if offset will do it because it I don't know if it, it's an offset thing. I mean, they could travel a bit further behind it. But then uh, we don't want to mess around with the offset too much because if we need them, if we want these guys to, to work on the uh, combine harvesters as well. Well, I guess they know that they need to go to the side of those. But, I mean, these guys tend to go to the side of these ones as well eventually. But, like, look at even this. Like, why is it so slow here? He's going three miles an hour. I mean... Oh, yeah. No, it is way better than it was. <laughs> it's only annoying when you look at it. Yeah, I know. well... The lines are quite long in the in in the field too. Like I don't know, maybe it's it's like every time he tries to change a row, he's got to like give him so much space. in this like starting position directly behind leading into him just doing it properly I don't know it's weird isn't it is the speed calculated between nodes no I don't think so I don't think that there's any speed calculations happening I think maybe it just tries to slow down before the unload point Coming. Our man needs a refuel. guy can go and get the Bowser for this other guy. See how much fuel we actually have in this thing. I'm not sure. Headlands over only for the mower? Like 10 headlands? Could do. Are you able to just do like uh, headlands and just like spiral it out like that completely? Oh yeah, there's fuel in here. It's fine. Always remember to dream big and fart loud. Okay. I will always remember that. Thank you.
Oops. All right. Blocked by an object. Oh, okay, good, he's not. Oh yeah, I'll tidy up the bits that he missed after. Once he's done, uh, we can get uh, to work on uh, still, I mean, again, it's not, uh, it's not urgent, so we can still skip the night and get the, uh, the barley planted and stuff. Shit, I gotta do the soil samples up over there too. Oh god, that's gonna take forever. Uh, we can do that while uh, he's picking picking stones, right? Which it's also gonna take forever. Great. Um, grass needs to be, um, limed and fertilized for its next, um, its next growth and harvest in November, November. circle in here, right? Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. That's so good. All right. Uh, I'll be right back, Chad. I'll go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Whoa, look at these curves. Very nice. Very nice. Um, we got to fertilize this thing after too, right? And then August is done. September. September. Are we gonna cut the uh, cut the cheese? Nah, I think we'll just leave this hay field grow until November and then do them both same same time. It's gonna take forever though. It's a long jobs, right? After I see some nice curves, I also then think about fertilizing. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean naturally, naturally. job going to Whoa. what is this uh what's up with this um What's up with this like uh like slant the these slanted rows here? I don't know how that's happened. How many years has it been in game? Like seventeen or eighteen years, I think. Seventeen years. <laughs> Guess how many hours we play? <laughs> Guess how many hours? 261. Oh my god. 261. Oh god. Rookie numbers, we gotta pump them up. 
I don't know how I've played this game for 261 hours. What the hell's going on? Like normally I'm I switch. I would have I would have switched by now. Tell us the most frustrating thing about this game is and then get really worked up about it and annoyed. Well, it just takes so much time away from me playing Hearthstone Battlegrounds, my other favorite game, and I'm gonna get so annoyed that I'm gonna I'm gonna close this one and start playing that one instead. Yeah! <laughs> uh... Let's get some big max. Jim, I can't make my mechs big. I can just make I I can I can make them top four worthy, but I can't make them like. You know, it's no uh, it's no quill bores with with Rylac. Uh, I don't know how to make mechs big. Boards of the big boys now with dra same with dragons. Yeah, dragons. Get, they, people can pump them big. Even even dragons. I'm always way behind. There's always somebody who's got Caligos and all the a really big warp wing and stuff. I I can never get dragons off the ground. People, no, I don't think people want to watch Hearthstone. People want, people want me to play the same game that everybody else is playing right now for some reason. I, I don't know why everybody insists that I try Pal World when like every other streamer is playing it right now. Wow, hardcore! Oh my god, it's vanilla hardcore, right? It's it's like classic classic WoW hardcore. <clears throat> you just want something that's not a factory simulator? Oh man, that's like a, those are my, like my favorite games though. I love those ones. The heavy modded skyblock factory. Uh, yeah, we do. We did. The, we played that for a bit, didn't we? Trans Siberian Railway Simulator. Does that have like a workers and resources sort of vibe to it? Remember how much fun I had in Zomboid placing your traffic cones and everything? I died too many times in Zomboid. We had a couple of good runs and then we had a couple of couple of stinkers as well. It's a hard game. Zomboid is a tough one, isn't it? It's really tough. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why do you do this? There's like, they have no collision detection whatsoever. I don't understand how they do it. You gotta be ready for Hell Let Loose by now. Oh, I found him. I found 99's alt account. I, apparently, Hell Let Loose has been, uh, has been microtransaction. It's had the uh, it's had the treatment. Uh, 
Hell, Hell Let Loose would be amazing. See, I don't get. It. I said I don't get it. I don't get like I don't get what you guys want me to do. That uh, that does not sound good. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'll I'll admit farming simulator is probably pretty probably pretty boring. Hell Let Loose would be fucking miserable. Like I uh, I don't know who would ever want to watch somebody play that. You don't even know where you get shot from half the time. I don't even find that fun. Oh, I'm dead again. I've spawned in i I'm dead. Oh, hey, okay, yeah, let's go. I'm dead. Like, it's just, it's, it's so stupid. <laughs> you want Dota? I get that that would be boring to watch as well, actually. I think the thing is, it's not really fun to watch somebody who's bad at, at something, right? Which is why probably most of you will think that it's not fun to watch anything I do. Most people want to watch somebody who's good at something, right? Hitman 3 Gardener kills only? What? Just like... Just go into the, uh, into the, um, the hotel map over and over and over and just kill that gardener in every possible way that we can think of? God, he, he fucked things up so bad for me. I can't remember the context, but I just remember being so unreasonably pissed off about it. You don't want to watch somebody who's average at something. They got to either be good, which is cool, or bad, which is funny. I don't know if I'd watch somebody who's bad at something. I I don't know. I don't even really know who I'd watch. I actually just like to watch people who don't talk. <laughs> that's my that's my number one thing. <laughs> Like every YouTube video I watch, it's, if, if it starts with, hey guys, what's up? I, I'm done. I switch. I can't. I want to watch somebody who doesn't talk, and, but is, 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 is good enough at doing something where I, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, that's how you do it. You know? long play no talking i've watched a couple honestly i've watched a couple of uh i watched a couple of playthroughs from start to finish with no commentary and it was glorious it was so good okay, just games that i know i would never play but i just thought i'll just watch somebody else play them but i don't need to i don't need the stream of consciousness either i just want to watch the game be played you know with no commentary <laughs> yeah I think that's because I'm old, but... <laughs> Can you shut up? I'm trying to sleep. And, I mean, I don't, I'm trying to think if I... Do I watch anything where somebody speaks? I'm not sure if I've ever been part of a, a like a. I'm not. I don't know if I've ever watched anyone's content and really watched it because I was interested in what they had to say about anything. I'm pretty sure. I like I. I used to watch Day Nine's Daily actually. The star when the StarCraft Two stuff. Remember that when he used to do those. Those, those were pretty good, actually, yeah. I, 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 I like them because he was like... Well, Day 9's pretty charismatic anyway, but... Um, they were, like, really informative, too, right? Like, he, you know, he would explain why 
somebody would do something and you're like, oh shit, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I would never, well, I mean, it's StarCraft, right? So the skill ceiling is like so high in that game anyway, but um, yeah, I was, they were, they, those were pretty good. Am I watching Lewis's fitness videos? No. Is he doing some? My ideal streamer is a mime, yeah. I, I don't even watch streams. I, like, uh, I, 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 don't, I can't remember the last time I, I, I sat and watched a stream. I used to watch um, Hearthstone when I was, like, really into it. I'd have, like, a streamer on in the background, but... Um, I don't know. For all the Hearthstone streams I watched... Uh, I, I, it's, it's, it's odd, isn't it? You feel like... I feel like you. I'd watch somebody, and... Um, and I, you know, I might... Get better, or, or learn from... And I never did. <laughs> like, I don't know what... I didn't even know why I watched, you know? I do. I, I I watch um, I watch uh, a dog uh, half whose husband uh, play Battleground sometimes, uh, but I watch his YouTube videos. Like I don't. I I wouldn't. I wouldn't really like catch a stream, but uh, the videos are nice because they're just edited down. And and games where he wins, right? So. I watch Tarkov streamers because I like to enjoy the game, but playing the game is not enjoyable. I mean, <laughs> Tarkov's a weird one, right? Because Tarkov is really fun to watch when somebody is good. Um, and I, I've watched Tarkov streams before, for sure. Like, uh, they're, they're surprisingly, like, not, not too bad to have on in the background. But again, it's not like a... It's not a game that really requires a, an awful lot of commentary either, right? Uh, like a lot of the time like if if you're in a raid you have to listen and concentrate and stuff but people who are really good at tarkov are uh, are are quite fun to watch cuz tarkov is a bit like that right it's one of those games where a lot of the time you'll just be too scared to play it yourself <laughs> Tarkov's a horror game. People who are really terrible at it are funny too. Yeah. Again, I don't know if I've ever watched anybody really bad at Tarkov. Which is 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 insane because well, it's not. I'm bad at it. Um but I I, I have no tolerance for other people that are bad at it. Maybe I've just cracked the code. <laughs> Maybe I've just cracked it. Maybe I'm describing um, a lot of people right now. You can't watch that much streaming content. It feels like TikTok. Just rotting the brain and reducing attention span. Streaming content. Well, it depends, I guess. I mean, uh, generally, uh, I'll watch stuff if, like, if I'm into it, you know. Like, I'll, like I'll watch. Like, I've been playing this, so if I need to find out how to do something, or there's something I'm not super familiar with, I'm not saying that every time I would look it up, but sometimes I might watch something just to get an idea. But like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't just watch um I wouldn't just watch somebody talking. Like I, I like I don't even listen to podcasts or anything either. I, I don't know. I, I I just it's not maybe it's like a generational thing or something. I don't know. I just can't can't do it. Like I said, I think the only person I've ever listened to and paid attention to talking about something was 
probably day nine StarCraft 2 stuff. You can't be bothered playing this game, so you watch me play it? Thank you. That's fine. I, I'm 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 good with that. I have never played the Ark Survival games, Jim. Uh well maybe I did I think I played one briefly. I is that the one where you could poop on the beach? Like one of the first things you can do is just poop on the beach? Yeah. I I, I played one briefly, but I never got far enough to breed dinosaurs or ride them around or anything. Ooh. That's my takeaway from that game. Yeah, that's all I remember about it, yeah. I played it for like 10 minutes, I think. If that. I probably played it for about 10 minutes. The surprise you haven't seems like the perfect game for you. The, what, Ark, Ark Survival? The, um... The dinosaur one. Baldur's Gate 3 was really fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I mean, I'm enjoying this too. I know, I know I've been playing it far too long, but... I still feel... Um, dedicated, you know? To, to at least trying. At least trying to get somewhere i feel like we've built a lot actually but like i i still got more in me <laughs> that was a sneaky schlocker drop yes what are the plans do I have for this weekend? I think we're going to try to beat Mario Wonder. An agreement was made. I don't know if we're watching a movie this weekend. Because on Sunday, we're, uh, we're out. I don't know what to watch next, actually. We were trying to find Liar Liar. You know the Jim Carrey movie, Liar Liar? We couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't on any of the streaming services. I have not seen Wonka, no. Yeah, Liar Liar is a great one. There's a lot of a lot of like older movies that are that are great that uh, my son hasn't seen, so we're, we're we're trying to show him some older movies that we remember from being kids that were quite funny, just to see like you know get an idea of like what he likes and stuff. But I think he just likes watching movies with us. I don't think he cares what we watch. No, he hasn't seen RoboCop. I don't know if he's... Uh, I feel like he probably would love to watch some action movies, but... I would I would be down for him watching some action movies, but I think my wife is like, does not want him watching that stuff just yet, you know? Terminator? Terminator... I can't even really remember the first Terminator. I remember it being a bit slow. Um, Terminator 2... I don't know if he... I was explaining the, uh, the, the premise for Aliens the other day. He's aware of the, uh, the, the Aliens from the Alien franchise because they were in Fortnite. You could get skins for them at some point. And he, and he got some and he thought they were really cool. And, uh, I was saying, oh, it's from a movie called, it, like, uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of movies, but the best one was Aliens, the second one. Well, at least in my opinion. And I was explaining it to him. And you could just see, like... <laughs> he was turning white, like, as I was explaining, like... What, what, what happened and what they had to go through and stuff. Like, <laughs> he was just already scared. It's pretty funny. What about Predator? That was a great movie. Holy shit. I love that. Predator was a was a fantastic action movie. 
when I saw Predator, I can't remember how old I was, but uh, when I saw it, I was like, it, like it, it left an impression on me forever. Like I used to, I used to do play with my GI Joes, and I would like. And, and I would, like, do, like, the same setup as, like, Predator and stuff, you know? Like, I'd have, like, seven dudes on the helicopter, and they'd get picked off one by one by the Predator and everything. It was, it was, it was a good one. I haven't seen it in a while, but... I remember... Do you remember that movie, The Last Boy Scout? It was uh, Bruce Willis and uh, one of the Wayans brothers, I think? Is it one of the Wayans brothers? The last Boy Scout? It had that opening sequence where they were playing football in the rain and the guy like uh, shot a bunch of people. That's a great one. I remember seeing that for the first time and it was like, we watched it. I think we had like a sleepover birthday party at somebody's house and we rented it and everybody was losing their minds because this was like, you know, we were we were quite young at the time, and it was like you know an R-rated movie and stuff, and like ah. I don't think I was disappointed though. I I think it was a pretty good one. A sleepover, yeah, yeah, yeah. A fun a fun sleepover. Okay, fertilizing and liming is done. Man, this guy is almost done. Holy crap. I think we'll just let him uh, finish up here, though. And then we can uh, get the destoner in, right? We can advance the time, though. We can say goodbye to August. Do 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 do. When I was 12, me and some friends rented Hostel 1, and we couldn't even finish it. Is Hostel 1 with those, like, really crazy, uh, like, horror movies, like the, like, the really gory ones? What about The Mask? Yeah, I saw The Mask. What did the... The Mask must have come out in, like, 92, 93? Was it? Or maybe even earlier? I saw it in the, in the, uh... I saw it in a movie theater when it came out. And, um, but we were away. We were on vacation. We did this fucking East Coast, like, maritime tour of Canada for two weeks. And I think we were in PEI at the time, and we went to go see The Mask. But it was in some small-ass town in some shitty little movie theater or whatever. Love PEI. Well, you can have it. More PEI for you. Fuck, okay, it's so boring. I hated it. I mean, I I just wanted to be at home, though. At the time, I was like a. I think I think I was. I just become sort of like a a teenager, so I was all sulky and just wanted to like be with my friends and stuff. Maybe maybe not the best time to experience PEI. Dumb and Dumber is great. Something about Mary, that was pretty funny. I remember that. The Naked Gun movies? Oh my god, man, I remember. Though I, I remember being in a movie theater watching those. The Naked Gun movies and Hot Shots, and Hot Shots Part 2. Oh my god, man, people were just howling. Like, it, it was such a fun experience being in a movie theater where people are just like, fucking breathless crying from laughing, like. It was all old people, right? Because it was all like... Hot Shots 2 is very funny as well. Yeah. Slapshot? I'm sure I've seen it. I don't remember where or when. Same with Strange Brew. I've seen it like a million times, but I can't remember the first time I, I watched it. And it's a bit of a trip too, isn't it? Airplanes, very funny. It's a little bit before my time, though. It was already kind of like an old movie when I when. It's like the airplanes movie. Airplane movies came out like in the in the seventies, didn't they? Late seventies. 
maybe? They are, they are, they are boomer movies. They, they still, they, they still kind of hold up though, man. They're so funny. There's, there's some, there's some, there's some classic scenes in, uh, in Naked Gun that will, that will still make me laugh. Oh shit! I think this guy's actually done. You watched Airplane? Your dad covered your eyes during the boob scene. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know if this guy needs to actually do much more. He's almost done though. Okay, we can just do whatever is left. Kind of hard watching the Naked Gun with uh, OJ. Yeah, well, I mean that. This is that was before uh, any of the the OJ stuff really kicked off, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, I guess he's just just do this and then. Perfect. Jesus. Okay. Where is this guy? We'll get him started and then we can uh, and then we can skip. We have to create a new job for this guy though, because of the width of his tool. Oh my god, he's doing he's doing the whole thing? You're not doing the whole thing. Come on, man. This that this is no longer a field. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. really is insisting on doing the whole thing. I don't know why, actually. Maybe you gotta put it here. Maybe we have to, uh... Wait, what? Let's get rid of this job. What? Why is he doing this? Why is he trying to... Oh, why is it selecting this, the whole thing? It shouldn't be, right? Weird. It shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be picking up this whole. F it's an old, old field, right? I'd... No, it's selecting the whole thing. Weird. Combine one. There's a waypoint for combine one out here for some reason. Save and reload. Will that help? German. I thought Schlager was German. Why is this? Why is a Swedish person singing this? Come and poo outside my car. All right. Let's see if I can get. Okay. So the field is here.
No, stop this. This is not a field. I mean, it is a field, but it's not defined as a field, so... I, I don't I don't get this. Oh. Why is it doing this? Oh. Got it. Oh. <laughs> top there's no default field on top there's not there's one field defined here this is an old old defined field that's been deleted prefer custom fields the field it doesn't it doesn't where it's too close to the edge I think I don't want to delete the field I just want it to work I just would be great if it would just work would well, that would be the best It's not asking much. Just work. Maybe we can just uh, use the default AI to do this job. It'll take a while, but it's fine, right? He can just work his way up and down and up and down. Do 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 do. All right, August. Peace. Windmill made 2,338 bucks. Oh my god. Okay, but on the on the plus side, the biogas plant made 76,000 bucks. You know, what? <laughs> Hello. Should have made way more. I think there should be some more silage in there too. Bunker's running bad. Cogen is running bad. Not all materials are available in fermenters. And uh, the power plant deactivated at some point as well, which I guess... Passive income.
up um, this field with barley 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 um, we'll do three headlands smooth circle we'll skip rows too <laughs> this is the schlager you needed to push you over the finish line. Same. This is this is what I needed. You guys all hyped and pumped uh, beyond measure for the uh, the the traders final tonight. Oh shit! I think I think Jazz just has so much work to do, and I don't think he can do it. You're so hyped for the show to be over. Well. I'm already, I've already got my sights set on some of the other series that are now available to me, like Australia Season 2. I might even watch US Season 1. I definitely want to watch US Season 2 when I can. See Dan. Yes. U.S. Season 2 is, um, I think there's only been about four or five episodes of U.S. Season 2. Maybe not even. It hasn't, it hasn't been out that long, right? Last night was five. Is it good? Season 2? Is Season 2 better than Season 1? Everything okay here? I noticed that maybe a little bit has been missed. Do, 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 do. Oh shit, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do that bit at the end. Where did I put that mulcher? Uh, sorry, the uh, subso subsoiler. Where is it? Oh, it's still here. Okay, I'll go do it now. Uh, this this is the one. You're right. This this is incredible. This is some sloppy work up here, Al. Very, 
very sloppy indeed. And there too. How could you, Al? waypoint Yeah, no, this is a field. <laughs> we made, we've made a big field. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, it's big. It's big. It's gonna take a long time for forage harvesters to get all the all the corn cut on that as well. We might need a couple. I don't even know uh, how we're going to multi-tool that with the uh, with all the wagons that we would need. Ready to go? Yeah, it is. Cut this. If we cut this now, we'd have to cut it again in uh, September. That's we. Could, uh, sorry, in November. Uh, that's fine. We'll be cutting the other one in November as well. Let's cut it. Let's cut it. We'll cut it. We'll cut it up and we'll ted it and figure out what we're going to do with hay. I don't know what we're going to do with hay. Type canola. What? It better not be. Do 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 do. Barley. <gasps> oh, I didn't cultivate this. I forgot, this isn't a... Oh, man. Oh, I'm so stupid. We gotta cultivate this first. I forgot, we don't have a direct... Uh, a direct cedar, right? I did it wrong, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should be. Fuck. 
I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> Good job. Great job out here. Where are you going? No. Look at the trees. The trees that we planted are growing. They're getting huge. They're getting huge. Do 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 do. Uh, do you want to buy this uh, this tether? I mean, it's not a big field. We could just get a, a small one. It's cheap as well, right? Sure. Huh. Yeah, Jim, we're still farming. We were gonna, uh, we were gonna play some, uh, some Hearthstone, but um, we did a poll and uh, nobody wanted it. The last time we did a poll for Farming Sim, we got 75% said that people still wanted to play Farming Sim. So, them's the breaks. Do, 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 do. We need a windrower. That poll had three options for farming Sim 19 on it. Well, I didn't know that. I still don't know that, actually. Did you say something? Fourteen meters. <laughs> Let's get tedding. How's the harvest? It was fine. We harvested all the canola. 
we've done a we've done a uh, grass cut today as well. We messed around with some automation. It's gone pretty good. Now we're making some hay. Look at that. Mm. Making hay while the clouds are gray? It's true, yeah. Very overcast today. Not bad, we picked this thing up for like seven grand. What a machine. Look at it go. Uh oh. Go faster. Go a bit faster. Good job, good job, good job. We gotta get on here and uh, fix this field because there's so much of the seeding was missed. It's so annoying. I can see why. Look at these curves. Smooth headland curves are what are what do it. Why have you missed uh, this? What's going on? Why did you miss these parts? I see. Well, maybe I don't actually. What? What is the deal here, Al? What are you thinking? Al Worker G has a full tank. Worker G, of course, is uh, our stone picker. I was, I was trying to think who on earth. Oh, fudge. We're going to have to return this guy about 20 times on this. <laughs> Look at this map now. <laughs> Holy crap. Make a nice big pile of rocks next to those trees. Oh shit. I don't want to have to come back here all the I mean, he's done quite a bit, but he's going to have to come back like a, a dozen more times. Not a lot of capacity in the old stone picker, but I guess we're still waiting for these other jobs to finish too, right? Time for a conveyor and wagon dedicated just to the... Uh, the stone picker. Um, do the uh, do the conveyors work with rocks? I guess they must, right? No, I haven't done the soil samples yet. Thanks for reminding me, though. I will do them. We'll need to do them uh, before we um, 
plant. Um, we got this to mow, but we're not doing it till uh, November. Uh, it's gonna take hours. It is a lot of grass, though, isn't it? It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of grass, and um, actually, we can pick up all this hay with this thing, right? Put it in a trailer for now. I don't know what the yield will be, but. So this guy will have to inherit the wind rower job. Harvester, that's not it. Hello one combine. I guess it is actually grass harvester, but this is uh this is like the hay harvester, right? The hay oh uh he should be he can pick up hay, right, with that thing? change the name of this waypoint like I thought it was going to. Oh. Hay harvester. Now we got two hay harvesters. This one we want to delete. How do I delete one again? Oh, I can't remember. I think it's the second one that we want, right? And what, uh, where do we want to unload this guy? At the grass silo? He's not going to be able to get there. We don't want that to go there either, right? We need a, um, a silo for a hayloft. 250,000 liters of hay and straw. It's not going to be enough. Is there something bigger? These are. This is all for silage. Bulk storage. Two million liters of bulk material for two hundred and twenty grand. Bale and liquid. I guess bulk storage would do it. What's a flat bottom bin plus dryer?
I feel like 250 uh, liters of uh, hay is not going to be enough, but I suppose we could upgrade it. 63k. like a higher capacity storage place for hay unless we just take it right to the cow barn but I can't afford to buy it right now so maybe we just temporarily put it into this hayloft next to the warehouse. Oh yeah, I guess I could actually. Yeah, I'll put it here. That's fine. Okay. Perfect. And then, so we want to change this route. to adjust these ones this one specifically will need to go about here oh no oh, I gotta record again whoops doing <laughs> no okay we can connect it up like that right I think all right so like this and that perfect so this will take you down to here. Draw a wiener. I kind of have drawn one. It's 
So that connects up to there. This is the dump spot for this. So this one needs to be a um, hay unload. And then we got to go back this way like that. Yep. And then it can come back all the way here. And it can wait here. That's fine. So this will be um, hay harvest harvester, which I think we already have three of two. So we want this guy like this, and then hay unload. Okay, this guy can get off the field. Can I redeem my weekly bada bing to cheer me up? Yeah, you can, yeah. Now is a great time to redeem your your weekly bada bing. Hey, bada boom, bada bing! One, work with this 2.1 meters? How do they figure? With this machine? Why is it 2.1 meters? What is what is the width of this thing again? 15, I think? You don't have to unfold it normally. Normally it knows, knows the width. Fifteen. see if this works oh this guy might be in the way if you Ooh, uh... oh shit he might be in the way here we go Oof. That's close. All right. We'll copy this. And then we'll give this job to... Him. This guy is going to be... Hay Harvester. Here he comes. I don't think this thing can even pick up hay. This thing cannot pick up hay. <laughs> oh no. Good thing we got the old... Uh, Forge Harvester, right? How do I, uh... How do I get that guy? Wait. This guy needs to stop this now. I think this thing can only... The, the pickup is just for grass, I think. He's done.
Oh, yeah. No, uh, this I have to use a forge wagon for now. Turns out because um, I, I I didn't realize the header couldn't pick up uh, hay. So it it looks like we're doing forge wagons. Which is kind of annoying because uh, they fill up really quickly, and uh, I don't know if course play has a way for them to. Uh... I, mean, I guess we could do it with. Uh... Pick up and deliver. Deliver. Deliver to. Hay unload. You have to turn this on too. Can this work? I wonder if this can work. So now we're picking up the hay. Oh. Oh, look, he's got the he's got the roof on. All right, so we can we can still use auto drive to um to handle the the other stuff, right? I don't know if that actually makes a difference. And then we can just do last waypoint to come back. Because they'll fill up pretty quick. We stopped using these for grass because we would have to um, intervene manually. Like, look how quickly this is. I'm not even half done the headland. And it, it, on the big grass field, I'd just be constantly coming back. Telling them to go to the silo, tell them to come back. We swapped it all over so that we could just leave it run, and it did work. We left it run. That's why we we swapped over. There's there's using the forge wagons. There's way too much uh, manual intervention. That's why we we swapped over. You'd get like a row done, and you'd you'd have to send them manually to the silo and back. I could I could automate um, no I couldn't even automate it I I'd still when this guy fills up I still have to come to him and uh, and hand him over to auto drive and then when he's done unloading I have to bring him back see like he can't do it automatically so now I can can't reach hay unload. Deliver. Pick up and deliver? Deliver. Why can't he reach uh, hay unload? Maybe he needs hay harvester? No, he needs hay unload, right? Why can't he reach it? It's right here. Oh, he's found it now. Sorry, I'll move. Oh, I don't think this is as long, right? We might have to alter this a bit. Oh, I love that he opens the cover, though. That's nice. You think I can just move it on the fly? Yes.
So, so every time he fills up, I basically have to come in, come back to him, and um, switch this off, and then put that back on, and then that'll just send him back to where he was, right? But there's no there's no bridging thing that would help me do that automatically. Well, no, that's not actually farming. That's just babysitting farmers. If I had to actually farm, I would uh, I would do something. But this is just teleporting into a vehicle and clicking two buttons. Yeah, this is just AI herding. That's why we swapped over the uh, the the grass thing, because the with the grass, once they're in their loop, we don't have to uh, we don't have to do anything with them. They'll just keep loading, unloading, coming back, queuing. Like it it was working really well, but because we can't uh, pick up the hay with the um, with the forager pickup, we got to do it this way. And I don't think there's a way that we can automate it. I mean, it's fine. It's a small field. It's a, it's a bit of hay, and uh, I don't know if we'll always get hay from it, because once we have a bit of a stockpile, we can just see where we're at and see how much we actually need, and then do it that way, you know? That's right. I'm just supervising. I'm a manager. <laughs> a really important one as well. I'm going to put that on my CV. I want the whole world to know. Yeah, I've managed a farm before. All right. Well, we'll just have to we'll just have to manually intervene with that with that guy. But I mean, it's it's fine. It's a, it's a, it's one of the smaller jobs. We don't want to be manually intervening with like the big fields basically because it'd be just stupidly time consuming, right? Whilst they're um you know, like in November, whilst they're doing the grass and I don't have to babysit them every 5 seconds, we could clear out a whole area. We could uh, plow new fields, we could do whatever, like de -stoning. like there's a million other things that we could do while they're doing that, right? Or I could just go for lunch, or you know like I said, a million things so, see every two seconds, man, he needs to be unloaded he can't reach I don't know why he can't find this, the hay unload, he just like, he's too far from the, uh it's too far from the path or something? I wonder why I can't find it. There, there, might, there must be a way for him to, uh, to be able to find that easier, right? He's closer to the other path. Oh, I see. So if he's too close to another path, he'll he'll want to. So maybe we should try to connect the networks, and then he'd have a chance to, of finding it. More of a chance of finding it. So it's better to have linked paths rather than just separate little loops. I think once this this loft is full of hay, which it probably will be after this. Uh, we won't need to do hay again for a while, so we can just get more grass in, right? Okay.
Okay, great. All right, Chad, I gotta go. I have, I must go. I have to be somewhere not here. Sorry. Look at that. Great farming today, by the way. We 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 actually did uh, manage to accomplish quite a bit. It was good. I'll try to be here over the weekend if I can. Uh, if not, I'll be back on Monday. Oh, oh God, farming. Maybe we played too much Farming Simulator 22. Fuck, I've really enjoyed it though. Um, we'll play. We'll play this on uh, on Monday, unless uh, I have some uh, episode over the weekend where I want to play something else. Never. Maybe it's time for Farming Simulator 23. Not enough farming. Okay, good. All right, we'll play some more of this on Monday then. Sound good? We got a couple of hashtag ads coming up uh, soon. I think at the end of next week we're doing one. Possibly the start of the following week we're doing another. Farming forever. It's not Hearthstone this time. No, it's some other stuff. Um, so there's, I mean, there's that to look forward to, I guess. <laughs> Jim, good luck with your BGs this weekend. And uh, if you're watching uh, The Traitors tonight, the season two finale, enjoy. I will be enjoying it as well. I can't wait to see how it all ends. Holy crap. Man, oh man. It'll be good uh, for it to finally be done. And then I can uh, move on to watch uh, Australia season two, which is uh, apparently a, a cracker. Can't wait to talk about it. Oh, yeah, and Masters of the Air is on tonight, too. Oh, exciting. I forgot about that. Jeez. All right, chat. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate uh, all of the uh, support as well. Thanks so much for the subs and the resubs and the donations. I hope you have a good uh, weekend. Like I said, if I can be here, I will be. If not, I'll see you on Monday. LOL, lots of love. And uh, I'll see you soon. Peace. Bye now. Bye.